Hello, hello, survivors. Welcome again to Can Eyes channel. Today, I will guide you to create crystal hunt easily and properly so you can gain more rewards. Stay tuned and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Okay. First, new bow preparation. You can use train stone from the previous event to exchange for a special ammo box. You can also exchange for smoke or fast bombs in the Ark City weapon store. You can exchange the new buff medicines in the Ark City pharmacies to increase damage to infected or reduce damage from infected. Besides many other basic ways to buff your weapons, you also can use this new medicine. You can use this medicine inside the crystal hunt stage only and it lasts for 30 minutes. So you can do 3 times. Make sure you also exchange these new buff foods from the Axiri Seafood store every day. This seafood bundle have the best effect for a PPE quest. Rather than surf and turf, it is more useful for the PvP stage. Team up benefits. Besides, you can save time and energy to clear the crystal hunt within 10 minutes. It is suggest for you to team up with other survivors so you can get max 20 mutation droplets and the main rewards. Crystal Hunt Voucher Benefits Here are the sample rewards for every level clearance and you can use the voucher in the beginning or in the end of the stage. You can get multiple rewards by using the voucher if you do the Crystal Hunt again after you have done the first daily attempt. You can get the Crystal Hunt Rewards vouchers from completing the Ark Knight Story Quest, Knight's Manual, Season 5 Manual Guide, and the Ark City Map Exploration. Now let me show you multiple scenarios clearance. You need to kill the flying for infected. It is recommended for you to use the burning comb on your weapons. For example, I use the Firefly Meteor Mutation Core in my Fungus Flame Tower to clear these four infected. Now let's go to the Gathering Coin. You can cooperate with your teammates to use Arc Number 10 Heli and Homing Missile to clear the rest flying spore infected. In the different scenario, you can use the Arc number 54 battle tank to defeat the infected. Or you can use the artillery turrets to repel the brimstone infected. Now let's activate the signal tower to proceed to the next location. Don't forget to turn on the amplifier to increase the firing ring rate with the unlimited ammo. In the surprise scenario, you can see my firing rate increased with unlimited ammo, so I don't need to reload anymore. See, the buff still lasts for the middle stage boss. The unlimited ammo buff lasts for 5 minutes only. For never give up scenario, you just need to clear the horde of the infected and stay on the platform. In tag team battle scenario, you need to watch your team's back to protect each other.
In breaking through the sixth scenario, you can shoot the explosive to cause extra damage to the infected. In unknown sea area scenario, you can use the amplifier to improve your move and jump effect for a period of time. For elemental defense scenario, you can switch the platform based on the infected types. I will switch to fridge path to weaken the brimstone infected and electromagnetic path to weaken the crystallized infected. For float scenario, you must be careful with the sharks, the mutated infected, and the moving giant black crystal. For the protect the signal tower stage, you need to watch your steps and stand on the safe platform or you might fall. For this track scenario, you need to rest to reach the higher platform or you will get drowned because the seawater level keep rising. You also can turn on the amplifier to get move and jump off. <laughs> For the boom 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 scenario, you need to keep moving through these boxes and use the explosive to clear the infected along the way. But you need to stay away from the explosive or it might hurt you too. Three different ending boss. For the boss last stage, make sure you hit the weakened spot of the mutated infected. The B-Bus mutant has ability to tour and spread the crystal attack. You need to avoid them. For the Brimstone Giant Scorpion Mutant, you need to keep moving to avoid the glowing fire tail. It also has ability to cause burning damage in certain range. Keep firing when you have stunned it with the Freeze Core Weapon. Make sure you pick up the boosting spores to increase your crit damage up to 50% and attack power up to 20%. The Noctuid Spores Mutant has ability to cause damage with the moving beams. You need to avoid them. Once you defeat the last boss, scan the crystal to complete the quest. That's it survivors. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.